Hi guys, Liam here from IDS. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the clone tool and spot healing brush in Pixelmator 2.0. So I've got my image and first I'm going to show you how to use the clone tool. This is the clone tool over here, it's a stamp shape. And basically what this allows you to do is repeat a texture that's currently in an image or to remove uh, blemishes or markings that you don't like. So I want to remove this yellow mark here. So what I'm going to do is choose the right diameter so I'd say 54 is about right for this image and then holding alt click an area which is just away from the blemish or thing that you want to copy like so oh, make sure you've got your layer selected and I can just see that that um, yellow mark is no longer there um, I can do the same over here to this little white patch. There we are, that's gone. Uh, you can try and remove bigger objects if you like. So I'll choose uh, this one. What you've got to be careful of here is that you don't, that you vary the, um, if you're trying to make it look uh, less obvious that you've actually edited the photo, you need to make sure not to just go up like this because obviously that won't work if you're removing big chunks like this they can sometimes take quite a while so again press L and I can just make my way up the yellow line So as I said, if you're going for a realistic look, make sure that you've actually uh, varied the textures. There you go. You can see that doesn't look brilliant because you can still see a bit of the yellow line. However, if we change over to the spot healing brush, which is a plaster, and we just like um, dab around the area, you can see that the uh, area in which we've just painted over is becoming more realistic uh, so this is the spot healing brush and this is basically what it can do however when using the spot healing brush don't think that you can just simply go like that to remove something because one it'll take a long time and I mean this is an SSD with 8 gigs of RAM so it's not slow um, but also it will give you a distorted image um, so by trying to save time you actually have to spend more time because you've got to undo what you've just done and then do it slowly when you could have just taken the time to do it slowly in the first place so you'll see what I mean in just a sec so as you can see we've just got this massive great big line here didn't really do anything and you can see the difference if I undo it and redo it so that's what, that's what it should look like that's what it did do you can also use it to remove certain things in the background. I prefer that, so say if I was trying to remove this arrow uh, road mark here, I would prefer to use the spot healing brush as it's a bit quicker. So if I, as you can see, that's pretty much got rid of it. And the same for this post here. And that's pretty much it. I think this photo is pretty good now. Um, you could use it to remove some of the um, markings in the road here but I think they look nice, give it a bit of texture but that's pretty much what the spot healing brush and uh, clone tool do um, thanks for watching uh, if you check on our website ideveloperstream.com you can find free icons, uh, free graphics etc that we'll be uploading in the next couple of days thanks for watching, bye for now